Imagine, if you can, an electronic brain operating at millionth of a second speed. I say brain because the new electronic central office will almost think for itself. It will not only carry out instructions you dial into it, it will also remember instructions you provided earlier. These memory features will offer many convenient services I'm sure you'll be delighted with. All you'll have to do is give the telephone company a list of the numbers you dial most frequently. The electronic brain's memory will do the rest. But it is all possible because of the basic research our scientists and engineers at the Bell Telephone Laboratories are doing to make your service better day by day. From their work has come breakthrough after breakthrough in science, providing the intricate devices that lie at the heart of your telephone service of tomorrow. Through the invention of better things, we are trying very hard to give you the kind of telephone service you want and need. And we think you'll agree, after seeing the many exhibits we have here, there is no end to telephone progress now or in Century 21. I'm glad you finally made it in. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Should I be laying down? I don't have much experience with this. Well, that's up to you. You can sit, lay down, or stand. Whichever is more comfortable for you. Okay, I'll sit then. Now, before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about my qualifications. I received my master's degree in psychology about 16 years ago and I've been practicing here in town ever since. Now, my job specifically is to address the issues that you're having uh, so that you can live a normal and healthy life. Uh, but enough about me. Uh, tell me what brought you in today. Okay, well, this isn't easy to talk about, but okay. I've been having phone conversations with my mom for the last few weeks and, well... Is that particularly unusual for you? Well, yeah, because... Uh, this is gonna sound so stupid now that it's coming out of my mouth. No, no, it's fine. Go ahead. But, yeah, it's really weird because she's been dead for several months. Hmm. Uh, how exactly did these conversations take place? Wait. You don't think it's really weird? Well, it's certainly unusual, but I've heard much stranger things. Um, tell me, do these conversations happen while you're asleep? It's okay, you don't have to handle me with kid gloves. I know this whole thing is insane and that I might be going crazy. So, no, I don't talk to her in my sleep. I'm wide awake and she calls me by phone. Well, how do you see that? Mm, the way I see it, there's three possibilities. Either I'm going crazy, which seems like the most probable explanation, or someone's playing a really elaborate joke on me. But that seems pretty far-fetched. Or my dead mom is actually calling me, which is, of course, impossible. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. Uh, tell me, who makes the call? She made the first call, which makes sense, right? I mean, who would call their dead mom and expect a response? I was actually walking my dog when I got a call out of the blue. It was a pretty normal day. The weather was nice. It was early evening on Tuesday. Nothing unusual had happened that day. I hadn't hit my head or anything like that. Anyway, I was totally incredulous, of course, at first. I, in fact, I, I actually hurt her feelings when I told her that she couldn't be my mom because my mom was dead. But pretty soon, it was obvious that she really was my mom, or an incredible imposter. Uh, well, how so? Everything was accurate. The speech patterns, the topics of conversation, all the details were authentic. It was either my mom 
or someone who went great lengths to study everything about her and mimic all of it. I'm not nearly paranoid enough to believe that somebody would go to those lengths, though. We're just regular people. She was a state bureaucrat. There's no reason why anybody would take that kind of interest in imitating her. But, of course, talking to her ghost is even more unlikely. Hmm. Oh, why is that? Come on, I'm sure I don't have to explain that to you. There's no such thing as ghosts. Then, what do you think is happening? The customer you're trying to reach is not available. Please call back. 